Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Today everybody, we are going to be going over the Peterbilt 351 Daytime Cab. This is the German beer company that I found and uh, it was a gift from one of you guys for instance. Um, so thanks to one of you guys who sent me this. I really appreciate it. I might be selling this on eBay. So go check it out. I'll be selling this on eBay. Or like, I don't know, 70 bucks, 60 bucks roughly. So let me uh, let know in the comics. But if we can hit at least three to two likes, I'll probably continue the series because so far we're not doing very well. Which I want to continue the series because I love going over all my collector items that I have. I'm not, I'm only doing, you know, first gear, DCP, and all that. Uh, it's very expensive. I just want you guys to know that I spend all my money on this channel for you guys and uh i want to grow you know i want to hit like by the end of the year you know i want to hit like 20 subs <clears throat> um so i just want to you know this is a very expensive item that i found on um ebay so i'll be probably selling this but first things first let's get and dive in and don't forget to subscribe and like and share with your family and your friends and anybody you know about that is into First gear and diecast promotions. Let me know. One sixty. That's all. I only collect one sixty-four scale, and that's it. But uh, let's dive into the trailer. So this is gonna just be a quick video of me going over this. I'm just gonna do a quick one. But you got a beautiful, beautiful paint on this and printing that they did. And DCP is manufactured with their trucks and their other items they sell is in China, but the company is in America. And this is a very nice truck that they made for me. They made for everybody. You got the trailer. And then you got the the beer logo, which is awesome. I love this is a very German um uh, company from the early 70s. And then you got the back. The the doors do not open. Um and the landing gear does not work because this is an old trailer, they don't make them anymore. And you got the tire on the below. And you got not that much lights. You got one right here, one right there. Same side. Everything's the same thing. And you got the got the tires and the rims. You got everything, which is awesome. This is a this is a very small trailer. It looks big on my screen, guys, but it's it's huge. It's not. Or sorry, it's 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 small. It's tiny. So, but and then we got the Peterbilt. Oh, moving on. Or set up the trailer side. I like the trailer. Uh, I think the truck is my favorite. It's, it's just very nice. So this is the Peterbilt 351. Got a beautiful logo. If I can, I can focus. Yeah, there you go. You got the Peterbilt logo. The lights, the grill, the front bumper. You got the horn. You got the stack. And you got the gooseneck. Oh, not the gooseneck. The I'm so used to saying gooseneck. Um, the kingpin because some truck. You know, if you're driving like a 3500 Ram 3500 or four, four 3500 Super Duty, you would probably have a Kingpin if you uh, wanted to do uh, hauling some cars. Because I'm going to be going over some of the, the dually kind of sets and green light. Let me know in the comics if I should start that because I already have a couple sets that I'll be going over soon. Um, so, yeah. And then you got the muff flaps and you got the back. So when you're, you know, when you're going back. And turning back and you have a load and you're transporting beer you know you go into your loading dock and 